I started using the camera, I was unfamiliar with it, and basically Gary had set it up according to some parameters that I'd given him. And I'm sitting there concentrating on taking the picture, and so I just push the button, you know, and I'm, I'm trying to get the framing right and everything and pushing the button. I'm really not thinking about the autofocus system or the technical aspects of the camera. And I, I really didn't think that, you know, Gary was very nice, let me use the camera, and I thought he'd be very disappointed at the quality of the pictures. When I got the pictures back and he showed them to me, they're amazing. And it is the camera figured out what it was supposed to do and did it correctly. The, uh, the, the focus is dead on. Um, we're at a limited depth of field, and yet the subjects are in focus. It's, uh, the exposures were beautiful. Uh, there's no other way to put it. The colors are magnificent. And then Gary had converted some of the pictures to black and white. He's got a technique he uses. And the black and whites were amazing. So, you know, I really have to say, without knowing anything about the camera that I took those pictures with, when I saw the pictures, they were so good, I didn't think I'd taken them. <laughs> I thought, well, oh, these are other pictures that Gary had taken earlier. That monochrome, um, that monochrome feature is a new feature that they added into the Sigma Photo Pro software didn't have that feature. They rewrote the software and they said, okay, we're going to give you the best ability to create the best black and white photos. It's amazing. Period. It's a very basic camera. It's a wonderful I mean, camera. you even said it was like, I think you said it was like a film. <laughs> oh, I just film pushed camera. a button. I, 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 <laughs> I, you know, and I'm not used to using um, electronic viewfinder, so I'm, I'm dealing with that issue. I, I'm I'm stunned at how beautiful and well composed the pictures are. I had no idea that I was getting that result. When you're using the equipment, there are limitations that, that the equipment override. Original 10D that I started with Canon is not as good as camera as the 5D Mark II that I use now, but it was still a, a great camera. Your perception of what when you, when you look at the, at the Sigma camera, and I held it in my hands, it's a small camera. Your perception is that the camera is going to provide you with limitations. The truth is, when you see the results, is the, it is your perception. The camera itself is, it actually has the quality to provide you with whatever image that you, you want. And it, it's, <laughs> and no other way to put it, it's amazing. I, I've looked at the pictures. And they're simply amazing. Foveon is a technology that, that we used to hear a great deal about. And then it's kind of gotten into the background. We don't hear as much about it. It's great for me to see that Sigma is still developing that technology. And, and when I <laughs> I looked at the camera that I was taking the pictures with, I'm thinking, well, you know, I'm, I'm not sure this is going to really work. But that Foveon technology provides you with an incredible image and the camera is very small I, I've been sitting there looking at it Gary's hand thinking you know this is a camera that you would be comfortable carrying around with you all the time uh, unlike my big cameras which nobody wants to carry 20 pounds around their hand all the time <laughs> it, I, you know it's an amazing camera um, when I get the DP 3M John I'll I'll let you get your hands on it and see what you I, I look that. forward to it because if it's and better. That's got a 75 equivalent, 75 yeah. millimeter equivalent uh, lens on it, um, which is supposed to be razor sharp across the frame at 2.8. Well, this one's razor sharp, so yeah. I assume it would be.